for joining my first video. Um, I ended up having to do a voiceover because it was just way too long and when I sped it up, I sounded like a chipmunk. So there's that. Um, the kit that I'm mainly using here to plan my day for August, Monday the 9th and Tuesday the 10th is Planner Kate Kit 328A. And I will list that in the bottom box. Um, not necessarily a link, but I'll definitely write it out so you can see what I ordered. And also um, just various scripts, all the different scripts that I use, you can find on Planner Kate. Um, and yeah, so let's make a start here. You can see me using the washi and a couple of the little boxes and scripts from Planner Kate to put the day of the week. And then I used a Happy Planner um, page from the Dates and Holidays book to put the 9th on there. Um, and then let's see, the next thing I'm doing here is I whited out the calendar part. And I don't like to, you know, just simply just cover it and make it look like, hey, I put this box over the calendar. Like I like to do different things every time. So this particular time I put a full box um, on there that I could write in and then I'm using some Chrissy and Designs weather stickers. Sometimes I want to put the weather on there and sometimes I don't. I just go by my mood. Um, usually it's like a filler. If I don't know what to put in a certain space, I'll just put the weather. <laughs> so that's that. Um, and then I'm looking through my scripts uh, to find my workout sticker because um, right now I'm definitely focusing in my personal life um, on working out and sticking to my macros. And if you're not sure what macros are, they're macronutrients. Um, that's just what I do. I'm not a doctor. So hey, let's throw that out there since we're on YouTube. Um, so I'm let's see i'm whiting out the seven o'clock hour here um, and then i'm gonna put in now i work from home i use a different um, planner for my work planner which is the larger daily duo this personal planner is my a5 so i'm checking my work planner here to see what meetings i have I don't list each meeting outright. I just list, um, you know, work. Like I know that I can't be multitasking with something at home if I have um, a work meeting that's going on. So um, I'm putting down a couple stickers where I know some things are gonna be going on, like my workout and the cute little shoe icon comes from the All The Plans Happy Planner sticker book. And then I put my Planner Kate workout script on there and I am just getting really addicted to doing that. I love the look of it. Um, then I put the little don't forget from Planner Kate and I'm using my Zig color dot marker to just make a couple dots for my to-do list. The whiteout that I use is the Tombow, um, let's see, Tombow Mono Correction Tape, and I also get that from Amazon, just so y'all know. Now I'm marking in a couple of uh, work meetings that I have, because uh, Monday there are quite a few meetings, so I really need to block it off. So I'm gonna use a box here. Let's see what I end up using. Yeah, I think I just used um, a leftover Planner Kate box. You could use a Happy Planner box. You could draw a box. Hey, you do you. I love stickers and scripts. You don't, then probably you're gonna hate this channel. <laughs> ah, but I digress. Oh my goodness, it just started pouring outside. So if y'all hear some background noise, it's either my dog snoring or the weather. So I'm doing my best here. I think I'm doing pretty good for my first edited YouTube video. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting down my work meeting stickers. 
I kind of moved them around until I got it how I wanted it because during this time where I've blocked off, I've got a client call. Then I've got a free hour where I can, um, cause that's just a phone call. Then I can um, take my shower, put my makeup on and things. And then I have some um, Zoom meetings where I need to be on camera um, at the end of that little time block there. So um, I think at first I went back and checked to see if I needed to be on camera um, for the client call or not. And then I ended up moving that box. So. I'm using the household book to put the little hanger sticker to denote where I need to get dressed. I just love using little icon stickers. So. because that's when I usually have my coffee and I'm catching up on emails and things. And I'm writing in getting dressed. My pen that I'm using is the Friction Clicker 0.7 in navy. some house cleaning for 30 minutes. Uh, multitasking is really, really important during my day to make sure that my work and personal life are both taken care of. Um, and for the next two weeks, you know, my schedule is going to be very similar to this. Once school gets started up again, I will have to wake up, um, of course, earlier in the morning and my day will look a little bit different. Just looking through some of my floral sticker books um, I usually on the bottom box there I don't use this for memory planning so I don't like to put a photo sometimes I put a quote sometimes I do put a full box but most of the time I put something decorative down there so I'm just looking through a couple sticker books that I have to see which one I want to use y'all so much for coming and checking out my video and supporting my new YouTube. Um, I don't really know how it's gonna end up. I don't really have, you know, a goal for the channel right now at all. It's just really a hobby. Um, but I would like to get at least 100 subscribers. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you want to see uh, more Plan With Me content, the other content that I plan to put up here are um, hauls occasionally, sticker book flip throughs occasionally, 
um, setup videos of how I set up my different planners. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it right now. But thank you so much. And if you don't mind liking and subscribing the video so that I could um, expand the audience and make sure that people um, can see this content, I would really appreciate it. Um, I think I have a bit of a different planning style than some people, and so I, I just think it's great for us all to be able to share ideas on YouTube. So thanks for joining me. Now I'm looking for a quote in the black and white book that I'm going to put up in that top full box. And it says, never forget how wildly capable you are. That's really important to me, just to always remind myself that I might not feel like doing everything on this list, but I'm definitely capable. And lately I've really been trying to be thankful. Um, I think in a future video, I'm going to show y'all a new journal that I got. It's a faith and fitness journal. So look out for that video coming up. Putting some more washi strips out of the Flower Power Mega Book. To me, you know, everything is in the details, so it might seem insignificant or unnecessary, some of these stickers or some of these steps that I do, but it makes me happy. If I'm happy looking at the plans, then I'm more likely to do the plans. Um, and then I'm just making a note here for my cleaning task on Monday. I really need to get those bathrooms cleaned. I have been putting that off. I mean, it's not disgusting or anything, but it's definitely overdue. Tuesday and we're using that same sticker kit and I'm going to do the setup a little bit differently this time and I have to say I, I really like how it um, turned out in the end. I made it a little bit less busy than the first one so you'll see. I do like to change up my style but my style definitely always includes a lot of washi stickers and scripts. Again, I'm, I'm again checking out my work planner to see what I've got going on. Um, so I'm going to use some little samplers from Planner Kate. I like to pull out my samplers when I'm planning. I keep those all in one little folder that I have, a little binder in one of the slots. And I just pull them all out when I'm planning to make sure that I'm using those up. Otherwise, I feel like they just get hoarded and they don't end up ever getting used. Um, same thing with leftover kits. I always keep those and am trying to use them as much as possible um, to avoid hoarding stickers. Um, I don't want to become a sticker collector. I really, really just love using everything to make sure that I'm uh, productive and I'm you know, meeting my goals. So you can kind of see on this page, I'm making it look a lot more clean and simple. Um, in the future, 
I can show y'all some examples of how you can plan just without using stickers, but I really want to be realistic here. Most of the time I use stickers, so um, you will notice that there's a lot of stickering going on, but you know, you can make anything work for you. Um, there again, I'm putting in my main chunks of work meetings and then I'm putting in my lunch hour, which includes 30 minutes eating lunch, 30 minutes cleaning house. I'm also reminding myself to start the sheets on Tuesday in the morning because I want to um, get that as one of my completed tasks for the day. workout hour which is usually around uh, four o'clock because most of the clients that I call are in the office very early um, and the best time to call them is between like I would say nine and ten and then again between like one and three um, if it gets beyond that it's very hard to get a real person on the line so um, unless I have an actual work meeting, I can get the other tasks that I need to do on my computer completed after five. So um, usually I like to work out around at the latest, like four o'clock, because otherwise I just won't do it. Um, I used to be a night owl. I used to be a restaurant manager in the past. And um, so it's really funny to me now to think that I'm just like, you know, in bed every night by 8 o'clock, and I'm not asleep by 8 o'clock, but usually I'm in bed by 8 o'clock every night. So funny how things change. Um, I'm looking through samplers again, just seeing what little icons and stuff I can use up. Um, I think I was looking for a reading sticker because oh, I got one for my work, which is so cute. I forget what that little planner cake girl is called. But as I said, it's a sampler, I didn't order it. So I think next I'm putting in at the top in that pink box, um, just reminding myself to read my book. I purchased the first two Bridgerton novels um, and I've been reading the first one, but the past maybe three days, I haven't um, remembered <laughs> every day to read. So I put a little icon there and then next, I'm putting in my crock pot dinner plan for Tuesday because Tuesday is Monday's ugly sister, so I'm not cooking. I'm gonna cook in the crock pot. Okay, then I think I'm gonna put some washi down. Let's see what I do here. Oh yeah, I was telling y'all that I already planned out the weekend, but that I'm going to have a separate video for uh, Wednesday and Thursday that'll be going up um, probably on Wednesday. And now I'm going to look for a quote to go or something to go in that bottom part there because I typically, if I just put a full box, I won't write anything in it. Um, so I tend to not do that. Um, so I think, I apologize, I'm out of frame. I think I'm looking for a um, quote or something to go down there. So just a uh, little chit chat with y'all while I'm doing that here. Um, I would really love to hear in the comments below what type of videos y'all would like to see from me. Um, and my editing will get better as time goes on. Um, this is all a work in progress, so thanks for joining me. 
I found the quote in the uh, Cool to be Kind sticker book from Happy Planner, and I love it. It says one day at a time. And now I'm gonna do some little washi. Um, I just put it here and there to my liking. for joining me please like and subscribe leave me a comment just say hi hey what's up or tell me what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future uh, hopefully this didn't kill your eyes or ears too much so maybe try to not be a hater and I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>